Vibes FC. Vibes FC. Oh, man. What a discouraging performance. What a discouraging performance. If ever we needed a top performance from United, first game of the season at Old Trafford, previously lost 4-0 to Brighton, was this performance. We needed a good performance. What did we get? Vibes and energy. <laughs> anyway, good evening. Hope uh, hope you're well. Hope the Man United performance hasn't discouraged or, wor- or ruined your evening as much as it may of others. But we move. First game of the season. But let's get into it. Um, anyway, Man United versus Brighton. Starting lineup. The Heron goal, probably expecting Maguire maybe to hold the bench. Hasn't really performed last year, but he's there. Varane is on the bench. So Maguire, Martinez to the left, Shaw on the left, um, and then Delot on the right. Fair enough. Then McFred. Oh, man. It's just deja vu again, honestly. McFred, why are we still seeing McTominay and Fred in our centre midfield? Have we not seen how bad they have been for the last two to three years? Like, honestly, please, why are we still seeing these players in our team? It's crazy. Honestly, like, I don't know what Man United hierarchy are seeing, but that guy should be sold. He should be gone. Like, honestly, McTominay, terrible. Oh, man. She just proved us. He's just he, this guy. Just he's just a, a gift that keeps giving. <laughs> um, Sancho on the right, um, and then it was like an Ericsson and Bruno double pivot. Bruno sort of on the left, and then Rashford up top. That's what we thought anyway. But when the game started, Rashford went over to the left, and then it was just almost like Bruno and um, Ericsson were sort of making forward runs. Rashford was making forward runs, but there was no one really that was sort of holding the top spot, which is fine now. I think Ten Hag likes to play this fluid football where there's no fixed positions. You know, that's that's his football. Um, Danny, Donny van der Beek on the bench, a bit surprised on that. Thought that he might get a, a sniff, but obviously not. Um, and then Varane on the bench and our main man, Ronaldo, which for me... He should be, he should be um, on the bench. You know, after everything that's happened, he's come out and said he went to leave, and he's been, he's been given to every single club in Europe. Then, yeah, you need to be in the bench definitely. We only need players that want to be there. Um, yeah, so first minute of the game, in ever is in ever you need Manchester United just to settle the nerves and for us to just be able to play. Good football, everyone to get excited again. The first minute, what does the lot do? These risky passes across the 18 yard box gets intercepted. Like, first shot on target, the first shot, I think it just went side netting. But it was just like, what was we doing? Like, you need to just grow into the game. Just, you know, get your passes in, you know, keep the ball. We don't need to do nothing crazy. Get the crowd behind you. First minute of the game. So for me, as soon as that as soon as that passed, I was like, yeah, we're gonna be in for a long lunchtime kickoff. Long, long one. Anyway, um as the game went on, McFred and McTominay, same misplacing passes. It was just like, yeah, deja vu. That's all it was. Um and I just I really don't understand how. McTominay gets away with misplacing passes, and then what does he do when he when he starts misplacing passes? He starts committing fouls, lunging into plate people. He should have been sent off. No, there's no two way about it. He should have been gone. If that was against Manchester against us, I'd be asking for the player to be sent off. Yeah, he's gone straight over the ball. That, that boy is lucky he didn't, he didn't get a broken leg. Yeah, that was shocking. And, you know, it just, 
it, it was a pinnacle to his a whole performance. Um, and then, so the first, to be fair, the first five to 10 minutes weren't too bad, you know. Um, first chance with Bruno, it was about five minutes in. Well, there was about five or six players in the box. I was just like, yeah, like this is how Ten Hag wants to play. He wants to get as many players in the box, you know. It was it was side netting shot, fair enough. But yeah, it looked positive, it looked positive. And I, to be honest, I, I like the movement. A lot of people I've seen on social media talking about, oh, who, there's no sort of fixed positions. But I like it. I, I like the fact that there's this fluid play. There's not much fixed positions. Um, you know, defenders don't know who to pick up, who's running where. You know, it was it was good. It was nice to see midfielders running in, running from deep, you know, making forward runs. Rashford, was he looked up for it. Um, so, yeah, I can see what Ten Hag was trying to do in that aspect. So then McTominay makes that challenge on the 25th minute and Tony should have been sent off. And then five minutes later, what do we have? One nil down. Yes. Um, and who loses the ball in centre midfield? Yes, that's right. McTominay. McTominay loses the ball in centre midfield, gets pushed over to the left. The lot doesn't press. Um, then the ball slid in. To be fair, Maguire, he didn't see... Welbeck run behind him, but that's Martinez's job to see. He didn't see it. Well, he probably did see it, but he's not He's not quick enough. And we'll get onto Martinez, but he wasn't quick enough. Then, obviously, Welbeck's just slid it across the six-yard box and it's been tapped in by Pascal, which, I mean, to be honest, it was a good goal. It was a, it was a good goal, and it was, it was poor from us. But for me, it was the, the, two, the two issues were McTominay losing the ball, in this centre midfield and then Dalot not pressing. I don't know what he was thinking. He was just like in two minds whether to press on or not. If the man is in your 12 yard and anywhere near your 12 yard box, you need to press him. Yeah? Straight away. Um so yeah, then obviously nine minutes later, two nil down. And then I think everyone's just thinking, here we go again. Two nil down and that's it. You know, game done and dusted. You know, it could be more. Um, and I think the confidence just left the players. Yeah. Every player was just, they just looked like they was in like first and second gear. Whereas um, Brighton were just like free-flowing football. They was playing the football that we, we should be playing. It's crazy to think Brighton, yes, Mr. Potter has got his team playing better than us. But it is what it is. Um so yeah, second half, um probably thought that we'd see a, a bigger, bigger improvement. Um same sort of thing. F second half, loads of energy. Um Ronaldo comes on, uh, um Fred comes off, I think it's like 50 minutes. Um Ronaldo goes straight up top. Um and it's more of like a structured four, four, two. Or a four five one. I don't even know what it was to be honest, but it seemed there seemed a bit more structure. And we had we had spells, um, and then obviously we got the goal at sixty eight minutes, which was good. Um, but again, like from a corner, there was no build up play, and it's like an own goal. It's, it's, it's bounced off the lot's arm. It was just like moment, just a moment that's got us back in. It's like throw Ronaldo on. Let's get a moment. So it's like. When are we going to just kind of control the play? Like, honestly, we're going to talk about that anyway. I'm just going to just get through this timeline of, of what happened. Um, and then obviously, 78 minutes, um, Donny van der Beek comes on. He makes three subs. Donny van der Beek, um, Scott McHenry comes off for him. And he takes off Sancho, brings out Langar. And oh, I can't remember the last one. Um, but yeah, I thought Donny van der Beek played really well when he came on. Made some good two-touch football. Um, and, yeah, he linked up well. I can see why he doesn't play, because he just doesn't have that physical presence, which we need. Um, but I think this is the biggest issue at United right now, is that defensive midfielder role. Um, we just haven't got that player that can play progressive football, has got vision, and is aggressive. We just don't have that. And McTominay is just aggression. There's no nothing else. Um, so, yeah, 2-1. Um, 
poor, poor performance. Um, yeah, I was really disappointed, to be honest. I, I really thought that we would see some sort of control and of play. Um, none of that. It was, it was just moments, just moments. And what's with this diagonal passing? It's like, as soon as though Ericsson will pick up the ball, he's looking for his diagonal cross ball. It's like, why are we just not keeping the ball? It was like, everything felt like it was in a hurry. Everything was hurried. It was like, as soon as we got the ball, it was like, we bypass midfield and we're trying to get straight up to Rashford or, or straight up to whoever's whoever's leading the line. And it's like, control the ball, control the play. We, there is no rush. But yeah, I don't know what, what that was all about, whether that's the players, whether it's Old Trafford. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, it wasn't a good performance from us um, at all. First game of the season, the signs were not were not good at all. Um, Martinez, to be honest, looks tidy on the ball, um, but he doesn't see danger. He don't see it. He, he does not see the danger, and he's going to be. He, he, <laughs> Welbeck's not even a clever forward, but when when he does come against them more clever forwards, he's going to struggle. Um, and he just looked like a kid, like five foot nine. You could see the difference. But, you know, people are saying, you know, football's moved on. You don't need this big six, seven, six, four, two, three, four centre back. You do. Yeah. This has just proved it because Danny Welbeck, Danny Welbeck, 31 Danny Welbeck, yeah, that hardly plays, is holding off Martinez and spinning him on numerous occasions. If that's a. Um, a Van der ba- Van de- uh, if that's a um, Van Dijk, or any other Diaz, yeah, they're getting that ball and he's going to field him. But yeah, Martinez, he's going to struggle this season, I'm telling you now. And I said this last year about Varane, he's going to struggle. He struggled, yeah. You need players that understand the game, but also that are physical and have aggression. If you don't have that, you're going to struggle in the Premier League. It's not like any other league. Um And then the lot was playing sort of like this right back, right wing, right forward. I, I was just like, no wonder he couldn't press. He was like, he was, he was, he ran the whole the whole pitch of Old Trafford about four or five times in the first ten minutes. Um, but yeah, no, it was poor. Um, and in Rashford on the left, I don't know whether or not that's where he preferred position or where he was told to go there. But it seemed like he started up top and then straight away he went to the left, which is fair enough. Um, so yeah, wasn't a good performance for us today. Um, I don't know what to say really at the end of it. Um, I think there's four areas that we need to we need to really think about in the next coming weeks before the transfer line deadline finishes. We need to sort out the spine of our team. Um, Martinez is here now. Maguire's here now. Varane's here. We need to sort that out seriously. And we need a defensive midfielder. A sap. Like honestly, it is. We need it ASAP. Um, and I'm seeing Benny McCarthy coming in as a coach and stuff. Why are we not getting Rio Ferdinand to come in and coach our defence? Why? Why not? He knows Old Trafford. He's a Man United supporter through and through. He's, he's by far one of the best Premier League centre-backs we've had. Why? Why? Why is he not being coached to come in there. I don't understand why we're not saying, come in there, we need some help. But anyway, that doesn't happen. Um, and I think one of the things as well that we're, we're, we're struggling at Old Trafford, you could see it. As soon as the crowd got up, the players went down. And I don't know how Ten Hag is going to do it, but he really needs to try and work on the mentality of the players that not to get drawn in too much to the crowd. Um, because yeah, I could definitely see that it was as soon as the players, as soon as the crowd sort of huffed and puffed, that was it. The players misplaced passing. Everyone doesn't really know what to do. Just like just trying to create that moment again. Um, they really need to try and Ten Hag really needs to work on that. Um, yeah, and then finally, we need to send them send a CDM. Ah, oh, ASAP, man. We cannot do a whole season with McFred. We cannot. I refuse to see this for the whole season. 
but yeah, anyway, let me know your thoughts um, on how things went. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know if you like the new videos as well. Um, this is the kind of new thing that we're going to be doing for our um, pros only t uh, sports. Um, yeah, and then hopefully we'll come in and we'll see we'll, we'll see uh, what United bring for the rest of the season. Hopefully it's a bit more positive than today. But um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening. The sun is shining in the UK, so we're going to enjoy it while it's here. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you for the next one. Peace.